What is going on everybody? Back with another one. This is a quick, quick, quick video for you guys. I just wanted to show some more sample footage in a more of a realistic situation. Look, I know in the low light video, most people are not gonna be corny like me shooting a video in an office space talking about low light. Like you're gonna be, if you bought a GoPro, you're gonna be outside with it. You're gonna be doing something cool with it. So I just wanted to show you guys what it exactly looks like. Just outside, I'm using a natural color profile. Um, not using the vibrant profile. It's just, it's like super vibrant. Like this is more of a natural look, more closer to what I'm seeing with the colors. And there's a flat look also that you can grade it. But for me and just, I think most people, look, if you're shooting GoPro footage, you're not worrying about trying to have the settings too customized. That was another thing. They have like a Pro Tune option where you can change shutter speeds, ISO and things like that. And it's like, am I really going to be doing that every time I get the GoPro out? And by the time like I have it set, like I already missed whatever I was trying to do or it's my time to get on whatever, horseback ride. Well, I, I don't know, whatever I'm doing. So I left it all on auto. The only thing I, oh, the only thing I did change was I changed the uh, maximum ISO to like 1600 because it had it just on auto and it can go all the way to 64. So everything else is the same. This is 4K30, um, 4K30, Linear lens, not the crazy wide fish eye because I don't like it. Linear lens and I have hyper smooth to high, not boost. Because with that boost, I didn't realize, yeah, it crops it like really crazy. Like it really, really crops it, which is cool depending on what I'm doing. But if I'm just doing something like this or I mean, I'm not doing, I'm not horseback riding today. So I don't need like the crazy, crazy stabilization. This is good. And let's take a look. Let's look. Let's just look at what the image actually looks like. And yeah, this is, and honestly, with this stabilization, guys, I'm walking around. I think this is more than okay in terms of like the stabilization. You can go to boost. Now, mind you, depending on what you're doing, obviously you would need, you know, you probably put the boost on, but honestly with this, I don't even have the, the, horiz the horizon leveling on. You know, this is just standard. Well, high hyper smooth 4.0, and I, like I said, I have all the settings set to auto, and the max ISO is 1600. And honestly, this is yeah, this is more like it. Right, guys? Like I know I was not giving the GoPro justice on that last one, but I just wanted to just show all aspects of it. So more, it's worth it. Now, once I said before, like I said before, this is probably go into like another video the battery, be mindful of it. If you are getting one, go ahead and invest in a battery sooner than later because it will die. And the overheating, yes, is, is, is a issue, especially when you're outside. Like it's super hot out here. Um, the sun is out, no clouds. The camera probably will shut off soon because the overheating, especially if you're doing like back-to-back -back videos, like I just did another uh, video, and I was like five, six minutes, and I had it on a high uh, output setting, it did shut off. So be mindful of that, keep that in mind. But aside from that, I've been loving it. Like, like I said, this has been something awesome that you can have this power in a small you know, case like this, and you can beat it up. This is good for, for me. So just wanted to show you, share, share that with you guys. Look, look at me, I'm trying, you know what? Because I'm trying to like hurry up because I'm afraid like this thing is gonna overheat again and shut off. So now I'm like stuttering, going crazy. Let me get out of here. You got the sample footage. I'm gonna have some more for you guys later. Guys, let's keep rocking and rolling. Go hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I'm gonna sound like a YouTuber right now. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. More videos are on the way.